Welcome back, viewers. Um, this is the Morning Show Banjul, and this is the fourth segment, which is politics, which will be spearheaded by our beloved Booba. Booba, what do you have for us today? Hi. <laughs> beloved. What are you talking about? You know, you look very, you know, professional. Oh, You're sitting on it. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, what's on the table today is mm -hmm. uh, Lawyer Martin. Mm -hmm. He's a political activist. And uh, he contested for the election in 2008, and unfortunately, he lost. You still congratulate him for that. You know? No, I didn't answer, inshallah. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, 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 sure. yeah, sure. yeah, and, and he, he's, he's a very active uh, activist. Uh, he said recently that uh, what the Gambia needs mm -hmm. is for all the political parties mm -hmm. to come together and unseat President Barrow. Wow. Hey. Because uh, he, <laughs> he, yeah, he argued that uh, in 2016, uh, we've all seen the problem in our politics. Mm -hmm. We felt that uh, Yaya Jamil was not good for this country. He betrayed our post. He done a lot of human rights violations. Mm -hmm. And Red Martin argued that such things are insufficient because uh, President Barrow had betrayed the coalition. Mm -hmm. uh, the reform, security and same side reform that we yearn for, we long for, has not been successfully executed or done by President Barrow. Mm -hmm. As a result, we should come together and fight Barrow, mm -hmm. kick him out of the state house. Man, uh, lawyer, like? lawyer, lawyer, lawyer Martin, Mune, Gambia, then what a follow up, then then coalition, for her Barrow, my watch. When I'm in a little more than effect, look at me for coalition, you can put Barata Hall? No, well, I think uh, coalition, the, I'm not going to play a blame game here because uh, 2016, we were all having one purpose. And mm -hmm. especially, yeah. uh, even the politicians, mm -hmm. the party leaders, the intellectuals, the activists, we are not thinking of life after the yeah, yeah, what will be? What is it? Not 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 Two, three years down the line, no significant changes. Mm -hmm. So this is what prompted Blair Martin to do. But I, I have not saw if that's gonna be a good the right solution. Move yeah. To form um, another coalition for Barrow, because uh, if the new constitution is 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 is, is uh, put in place, mm. <coughs> fifty percent. Mm -hmm. I am not so if any political party will have. 50% of the votes, I'm not so. But, and if that is not the case, uh, there might be coalitions. Yeah. But for all the political parties to come together, to fight for it, no, because the coalition did not need any good but story. Also, even I, I, I think I would even is... disagree with him um, for the simple fact that the Gambia, uh, we, we are not only concentrating on politics. Politic, yeah. What the political parties should concentrate is to look at their core function. Are the political parties doing the right thing? No, they are not doing the right thing. On the political party, if you look at the, the, the principle generalizing political parties, there is what we call political education. Mm -hmm. But most of their militants are the people that are causing all this problem here in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. So this will go back to their people, let them educate them, let them tell them the, inf the importance of voting, let them tell them the importance of being conscious, let them tell them the importance of not being a political tools. That is what, is what the Gambia needs at the moment. Good. So if you look at the coalition government, of course, intent, they have achieved a lot, but still there is a re room for improvement. Let me just tell you one thing. Um, process of governance is a process. Mm -hmm. It's not one day work. Rome was not built in one day. Mm -hmm. And this is why government is a process. Mm -hmm. If you look at um, the, the, the government of Adam Abari, um, when it comes to the coalition agreement and stuff, major, most of the things that were asked under the coalition government or the agreement, mm -hmm. most of it is, is on progress. Now, if you look at let us say, the Constitutional Review, Review Commission, it is said, it, Truth Reconciliation and Reparation Commission is going on. Judicializing the Gambian judicial system as Gambians is on, on progress. Giving the National Assembly the power to be on their own is in progress. Giving Gambians the freedom of expression to express their view is in progress. What do they need? 
Oh, what the government is work? Mm -hmm. They just work the work and leave the talk at the talk. moment. Yeah. The politician cannot be playing people's minds. I know him because he was a, he wanted to buy into a position and he fo uh, he failed to have that position because they won him in an election. Now he's looking for an opportunity. What the government is right now is people that will work. The governments are tired of politicians. Exactly. The governments are tired of um, having um, coalition. I know for the next 20 years, mm -hmm. it was prophesied by the, the former vice president that mm -hmm. there will not be any political party that will win election. I truly agree with that, but it's not the right time for election. Right now, what we should talk about is how are we going to make sure that the, the, the draft position is in place? Mm -hmm. How are we going to make sure that we defeat COVID-19? How are we going to make sure that we remove the inequality within our system? And develop the gun. Yeah, and Dan, also Dan, how are we making sure that the no, person that I has to come... I have a problem. Yeah. Omar, oh yes. Uh, politics and election is a very serious matter. Mm -hmm. And it cannot be if ethan is postponed. Oh, let's, no, let's, let, let's, let's place it here and talk about these old issues. Mm -hmm. Election is as important as what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Because uh, let's imagine if the COVID-19 you're talking about, which according to politics has not been dealt with seriously by the world government, mm -hmm. if we should have another pandemic. Don't you misquote me, I did not no. say so. I said there is still need an effort. There is still an effort that we should all collaborate okay. to make sure that we fight COVID-19. Mm -hmm. It's not only the government. The people that are affected. You don't get the point. What I'm saying, I, know, I know your point. What I'm saying is we have a COVID. We have a pandemic going on. Mm -hmm. And according to the critics, the government is not dealing with the COVID appropriately mm -hmm. as they should deal with it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just giving you a scenario. For example, so, if the next government, or in 2020, 2022, if we have another pandemic with by our government, how are we going to do? So if you don't want COVID to be treated the same way or pandemic to be treated the same way, we need an election to get another, uh, 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 another government. But the point is, uh, elections and politics cannot just be pushed away. Mm -hmm. What Lai is saying is that uh, we need to form a coalition to keep our power. We are focused on how to remove power. So are you suggesting that uh, Baru have delivered all that promise and people need not to not to make any confrontation with him? No. Or not to make any... Our focus is not how to remove Baru. Uh, that's why our I focus want to... Yeah, that's why I country. want to come But this is the point. We might move back. Okay, let's, let's just our, get this straight. We might be making uh, committing the same mistake that we committed. No, the first thing, when we um, formed the coalition, our main aim was to get rid of Jamin. Mm -hmm. Like he needs to go so that we can know how to, uh, those are the uh, first steps to know how to rebuild our country. What if this is not the right um, uh, move to take when we are forming a coalition just to m move Baro away? What we should be forming a coalition for is to ma making sure that we have a president that is not going to um, betray the memorandum of understanding of the coalition like Baro did. That is what we should be looking for, but not just to put Baro away and have someone the look alike of Baro to go and sit down there and do the same mistake that he has done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They are all silent about it. Impending, him. yeah. Because perhaps it is not even favorable to them. Mm -hmm. But as genuine Gambians, right now, whatsoever Gambian is talking about politics or any other field, you cannot side away from the draft condition. Mm -hmm. Because it is one of the most precise resources that we have at the moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we, we are tired of this politician. Let me just tell you one thing. Um, if, you are, if you are advocates, perhaps you can do politics, you advocate on politics. But what is important is to look at whether people are happy with the situation. Um, to be honest, if not the full situation that the politicians are imposing on us, people are dealing and scoping with the status quo. Gambia right now is Gambia for peace. We have peace, we have freedom of expression, democracy is showing, even though democracy also is a process. That's one thing we need to understand before we, like democracy, we need to understand so many things before we move on to another, like, yeah, forming another coalition. We, there are so many things on the ground that we should understand first before we think about moving back. Because we've committed the same mistake. Gambia, there is less than 
3 million people, all these small, small, small parties. parties in the name exactly. of multi democratic state. Can they join together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you look at the agenda of if you look at the agenda of UDP, it's the same as the agenda of NPP. So why can they join as a coalition? Well, yeah. They're trying to divide people in the name of democracy. Look at the people of, uh, of, of Foley, how they are dividing themselves in other APRC. And you look at the people of Woolley, how they are attacking themselves on the UDP. So that be, is that the, the norm of unity? Mm -hmm. Even though it's under democracy. But that's not the right yeah, thing we should do. Exactly. Let them, all these small NCP and other small parties, let them join together. There are four political parties that have never run for an election in the Gambia. Gambia, yeah. They should all be registered by the, uh, by the, the, the Independent right. Electoral Commissioner. Mm -hmm. Because they have no purpose. You have never seen, there are, uh, political parties in the government that have even never called for a congress. Even Baroness political party has not even called for a congress. Okay. So why are they just making things open like that and dividing the governments for what? Are they trying to exploit people? They are doing that. Mm -hmm. They are exploiting people, they are exploiting the youth because majority of their allies are, are, are whole, the, the people that exactly. occupy allies are women. Yeah. And that is not the private anymore. The private is how we do, how are we going to make sure that we develop our country. Mm -hmm. It's not how are we going to compete We with have the constitution parties. to it's think about, we have democracy to think about well, before well, we... Well, 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 yeah. well uh, I think uh, what we need to put into consideration is uh, when you talk about democracy, we have principles of democracy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the elementary idea in understanding democracy is uh, knowing that people have the right to associate with their parties or any organization they wish to, mm -hmm. right? And uh, one of the most crucial issues for me in a democracy right now is the multi-party democracy. Because Gambia is a multi-party democracy. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't matter whether we have started political parties. It, that's, that's not a problem. Boba, I'm just, I'm sorry. Um, today, if you're talking of democracy, originally from Greece, but we give reference to the United States. Mm -hmm. Let me just tell you the logic that the United States is doing. They have two main parties. Mm -hmm. You have the Democrats and the Rep Republicans. Republicans yeah. And there are other political parties. What you do is, if you are in the United States and you want to be a politician, you go and join those political parties. parties. Advocate, make yourself to be part of the party to the extent they can, you, can be, you can be elected by the Congress within the party. Mm -hmm. In the Gambia, a population that is less than um, that is less than three million, so you have more than eleven parties in the Gambia, almost eleven parties. In fact, more than eleven parties. Mm -hmm. What are you telling us? And this most of these political parties do not even feel the requirement needed by independent electoral commission because it is a requirement that when you register on the IEC, you should have in any of these um, regions you should have a bureau there. Mm -hmm. Most of them did not. So they're just trying to use it because they know that um, for the next election that will come. One political party will not go into, uh, one political party can win an election. Mm -hmm. So if you are within the, uh, the, the, the political arena, you have a small political party, this, which is not even more than the, 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 the University of the Gambia law students. It's even more than the political party, your so, party supporters. It's even more than my fans club, your party supporters. Yeah. <laughs> so you just want to attach yourself so that you will have an opportunity to be under the, 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 the cabinet ministers, no, exactly. under the, uh, mm -hmm. the yeah, diplomats, the all, you know, all the back back Look at, look at the party of, 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 of my MFA. Mm -hmm. Look at the party of, of the, 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 the recently the advice of the president, mm -hmm. Gomez, something like Gomez. Look at the party of NRP. In fact, NRP is a little bit better, but there are parties in the government that are not functioning. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they are still on, on, on progress. What are you telling us? Let me tell you the tactic in politics now. You know, when, um, when you form a political party, you change your ID card. Mm -hmm. You change your passport to indicate that you are a party leader. And normally, party leaders are given a very high status quo all over the world. Mm -hmm. Anything that you want becomes easy. It opens the door for you. Mm -hmm. Now, all the surrounding people under you are a party uh, secretary general, mm -hmm. party PRO, everything mm -hmm. will be changed. So if you want to travel, just recently, there were political parties um, leaders in the government that were even applying for diplomatic passport. And do you know the, 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 the power attached to diplomatic mm. passport is too high? So people are exploiting the power. You don't do that. All they want is a way out. You don't have to do that. They are on their mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. But um, all this type of political party on the, multi on the name of multi democratic system mm -hmm. is not sustainable. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not real. Mm -hmm. What is real is to reunite. What is real is to make sure that the country that you belong to, you nationalize yourself mm -hmm. or allegiantly than to try to divide segment. Look at the today's journal. Mm -hmm. All purpose of intent. Um, Barrow was voted by, you know, perhaps some might believe because of the agreement. But others believe, no matter how beautiful the agreement is, if the agreement is contradiction with the constitution, then the constitution should prevail. Exactly. And that's and the, the, the discussion. And that's what he went with. He went also with the, the Supreme Law. Yeah, I, I, mm -hmm. I, I just want to make uh, one, one point here. Um, if people are talking about what they want to see in the government, 
and if they talk about the change of government. It's not our business as a fellow citizens mm -hmm. to say, uh, that's not our concern right now. We have a lot of things over the change of government. You have let, let, me you, no, let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing, Omar. Uh, you, you, have, you have to be open to diverging views, mm -hmm. right? And one thing I can tell you for a fact is that mm -hmm. you cannot effect any change mm -hmm. in this country effectively if you don't hold a political power. You know, if, 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 if you have a political power, there are a lot of changes that you can do. Yeah. So if people are advocating for a political change of political power, oh, yeah. because they see something that are not going well, and they think if there's a new government, they are not a government, a government that they believe in. But let us, adopt, let, us, let us, wait one minute, let me just come in. Let us adopt the right way to go about these things. This is uh, a topic that we can't talk about in 15 minutes or so. We will definitely continue this conversation on our comment section below here on YouTube and also on our Facebook page. Tell us what you think. Is this the right way to handle the situation at hand? And are there other minor or trivial things that we should first focus on before we think of uh, changing the government and all of that? Um, this brings us to the end of the fourth segment, which is politics. We'll move on to the fifth segment and stay tuned. Thank you.